One minute to understand how a sonic boom is created. Imagine a piece of wood. If you let go, it falls straight down. Add a pair of wings, and it will fall more slowly. A gust of wind will carry it some distance before it lands. To make it go faster, reshape the wood into a fighter jet's triangular form to cut drag, fit wings that can rotate 360 degrees, add a tail for steering, and put on three wheels for takeoff. Replace the wind with a thrust engine, tilt the wings up at takeoff, so the airflow lifts it, and tilt the tail up to keep the center of gravity toward the rear. Open the engine and it flies. To go faster, retract the wings and tail to reduce drag and push the engine harder. The air in front of the plane is then pushed aside rapidly, creating pressure waves that spread outward. As speed climbs toward the speed of sound, the waves in front of the aircraft compress violently and pile up into an air wall. Once the plane reaches about 340 meters per second, roughly Mach 1, it breaks through that wall and the compressed energy reaches your ears all at once. A sudden pressure change that sounds like an explosion. That's a sonic boom. During the boom, the air is compressed and then expands quickly, causing a sharp drop in temperature so water vapor condenses into tiny droplets, forming a cone-shaped white cloud around the fuselage, the sonic boom cloud. At that speed, flying from the U.S. coastline to over China would take only around 28 minutes, meaning a strike could be executed and the aircraft returned in just over an hour.